Hi there. Do you want to add a translation button to make your website multilingual or make it automatically translate to any visitor's preferred language or rank on Google in different languages in new markets? You've come to the right place. Today, I'll show you how to use the free plugin G-Translate to add and customize a translate button anywhere on your site or get your site to automatically translate to a visitor's language. But that's not all. I'll also show you how to use the popular plugin Vglot to add a more customizable translate button on your site. And because all machine translations can miss out on nuances and have communication gaps, I'll show you how to use the professional translators inside Vglot to get the best quality possible. I'll also show you how to use their multilingual SEO features to help your site expand to new markets. G-Translate is decent enough for most people, but Vglot is much more effective because of its unique features and advanced quality. So watch how to use both plugins because I'm showing easy steps here which can definitely help you with your website growth. Now, before we start making website changes, there's a chance of unexpected errors. So you should quickly take a backup. I'd recommend BlogVault because there's guaranteed restores and many unique features. To install G-Translate, you can find it in the WordPress plugin library and install and activate it. Next, you can click on settings and select the languages that you want to make available on your site. So by default, the language options will appear like this, but if you want them to appear in their native names, just go here in your dashboard. Then select this option to show the native language names and click save changes. One good option to make your website more user friendly is to display the country flags next to the language names like this. So in our settings, just go here. Now to display flags, just select this option and save changes. Next, we will go here and choose where to display the translate button on your site, on your header menu like this or your footer menu like this. So select your option and yes, you guessed right, click save changes. Now, to prioritize the mobile version of your site, you can go back to your dashboard and then click appearance, then widgets, and then you can just drag the G-Translate widget to whichever part of your site you think is best, like I'm doing here, and then click done. Okay, let's say you didn't want visitors to manually choose their language. Instead, you wanted to automatically translate the site to a visitor's preferred language, like someone in Spain sees your English site in Spanish. Here's how we do that. Go to the plugin settings and enable the option to automatically switch the website to the browser language and click save changes. All right, now I'll show you how to use Vglot for a highly customizable translate button, getting professional translator help within the dashboard and multilingual SEO to expand to new markets. Firstly, take a backup because this plugin makes some deep changes to your website and there's always a chance of something going wrong. Now, go back to your plugins library and install and activate it. You can now see its menu on your left navigation menu. Click this and reach the main configuration page. Create your account and start a free 10 day trial. This will let you translate 2000 words in any one language. So it's a good way to test the features before you buy the 30 euro plan for multiple languages. Yes, some people may find this expensive, but if you want to properly expand your website to new countries and markets, it can be worth it. Now for the free trial, check your email for a link to access the setup wizard. You will see an API key on the next screen. Copy this, head back and paste it here. Then choose your default language, the target languages and click save changes. Now, on your site, there will be a translate button on the bottom right by default, but we can make this a better user experience. So look at these new settings on the main Vglot page now. These settings will help us customize the button. We can remove the drop down if there are only two, three languages to display. We can also change the flag appearance in the button or change the position of the button. Scroll down and you can change the position of the button here. Just click here, then drag the Vglot widget wherever you want it to show up. All right, let's go back to our site now and check it once. This is what the translate button looks like now. One of the main benefits of this plugin is behind the edit your translations button. Here, you can see the languages of your site. Click on it to manage the translations for individual words and phrases. You can then cross check for nuances here yourself or select important blocks and get a professional translator to help you out. This is actually quite convenient and makes life much easier. Coming back, there are some miscellaneous features here which you can explore if you need them, like Glossary, where we can exclude specific pages or blogs from translation, or the Visual Editor, which is helpful if 95% of your site is translated, but you want to just polish it a bit. So you can check these out. Now, let's talk about the features which help us in multilingual SEO. Firstly, you can click here to translate your URL slugs automatically or manually. 
Next, Google uses hreflang tags to analyze the language and target region of a page, and these tags need to be inserted in the header code of your pages. Obviously, this is difficult and time-consuming to do manually, but Vglot does it automatically with every translation. Next, when you translate the content of a site, you also want to translate the metadata so Google can help you rank higher. But what might be a good keyword in your native language may not be so in another language. So you can run a quick keyword search on Ahrefs by entering the translated word, selecting the target country, and reviewing the results to understand how to modify that keyword. Vglot automatically detects metadata on your site, so you can then easily go and update that metadata. Lastly, there's a statistics tab here in the menu. It has helpful data that helps you analyze what's working or not working on your multilingual site, like page views by geography and language and some other things.